what is uh, exactly the thing uh the advantages of this so you can you can ask any doubts in the rf because it is a very important thing uh if i want to close a sap where i have to write the code in rf framework No, no, no. Close the uh, all. Close the SAP. You yeah, have close applications. First preference is you just do the close all applications. Okay. Don't go with the kill. Okay. okay. So first preference is close all applications. If the all applications is not closed properly, then you have to go to the kill. That's what we are doing, right? Normally humans. So you buy. So you are closing the application. If it is not closed, then you go to the task manager and kill the process. Right? Right click on the kill end process. That is what we are doing. So the same way we are doing the artificial mark also. Okay, so so if if uh, any exception occurred in the init stage, what is the next stage? If any exception, system exception occurred in the init stage, what is the next stage? Yes. End process. If any exception occurred in the get transaction state, a get transaction data, what is the next step? End process. Why it is end process? Why it will go to the end process? Any question? Because here, in the, in, the, in the exceptions where in the catch block, we are making you are making the transaction ID equal to nothing. Okay, so the, if the transaction ID is equal to nothing, it is going to the it is treating as a no data. Okay, no data, no data items to process. Then it will go to the end process. Here is different. Exception occurred. I mean, system exception has something. Okay. Here is different. If any uh, business exception occurred in the process state, what is the next state? If any business exception occurred in the process transaction state, what is the next state? Get transaction data, right? Okay. Get transaction data. All right. Uh, How many times the init all uh, settings will execute in the whole workflow? How many times the init all settings will execute? Only one, right? Because here only one time we are loading the data into the config story. So can we use the RE framework without using the queues? Mm -hmm. Okay, so what is the advantages of the RA framework? So RA framework is like a it's just a template and uh, the modeler approach, and it has the different modules. And the advantage is this one just knows I told you right. So if uh, you have a one lakh cursor, so if you are in in the stop in the process, it will continue the remaining process without disturbing anything. Okay. It's a well defined, uh, it's a hand, it's a logs. What all this uh, handles? It's all this log, exception handling, logs, and default state mission. And default use the queues. That's it uh, about this. So, and uh, for, for you, the exercise is this one. I will, I will copy this whole uh, this, uh, into this. Uh, our our user user files kind of thing. So see here, there is a master school master is there. This is a, this is an example. Uh, this is a exercise for you. Use the RE framework and complete this exercise. Okay. So first, the bot has to 
uh, a good uh, school school uh, master the school master has all the information the school master has a this information so what is the information school name school id and email id and uh, total fees okay total fees so it has uh, some fees based on the schools okay so each school how much fees they paid each school how much fees fees they paid okay so this is a master use the dispatch there and dispatch the all the items to the queue okay so this is a this is a uh, fields so all the items to the queue so once you dispatch the items so you have a school name uh, school id and uh, school id and then the email id and then total fees so here in this in this folder you have a each school there is a school names some school names are not there. Okay, some school names are not there. Suppose, for example, if you see here closely observe, so which school is not there? Maybe this school is not there, right? The selected school is not there, indoor. And uh, this school is also not there, Greenwood. Okay. If the school is not the school file is not there, you have to send the business exception. That is the thing. Okay. And next one is uh, if school is there, this school is St. Javis is there. Okay. The school is there open the excel that excel has the all the information of uh, each student how much they paid okay each student how much they paid so if the uh, class name or student number is missing so this is a class name and student number is missing then you have to throw the business exception like a the class name is missing or a student name is missing student number is missing that is another business ex exception we have two business exceptions one is a class School file is not there. That is one business exception. The another one is the class and the school number, a student number is a mandatory for each and every school. Okay. The class, if the class are missing, those records it has to send the business exception. The student number is missing, it has to send the business exception. It should not process that file. Okay. Now so you have to take the sum, total sum. So what is the sum here for this same year base? Six five eight one six. Right. Go to the schools. Uh, so here in this transaction, so you have to six five eight one six. So if it is matching, then that is a success. Okay. So if it's not matching, then fail and uh, take the business exception like that. Okay? Business exception is a, uh, the total fee is not matching. Okay. It has all the records, all the schools records. School has a different school numbers. Okay. And uh, fill the information. Okay. Prepare that. That is a one exercise sending the business exception and process the process if the both are matching okay both are matching if the both are matching uh, there is a word okay word report is there okay here I'm placing this uh, here input input okay the so input I'm placing these two. So this is a template is there, report template is there, okay? You just take the template of this one, okay? Take the template and fill the information, student, school name, date of uh, report, that is a today's date, student date, school ID, and uh, number of schools, number of students. That number of students is coming from where? It's not coming from here. You don't have a number of students here, right? Where, where is that? The count, the count here, okay? Suppose a Hynix school, it has a count. Number of students is a... 31 okay 31 is the number of students okay so number of students and total fee they paid okay total due how much they due okay so how much they due means that that is like a how much they due they paid this much okay the schools uh, they paid this much to the university but they have to pay the remaining amount suppose this is a pay the students the, see this is a paid for by the uh, school to university and this is a fees they paid from the student to school the, okay so take this total sum sum minus sum minus this number the total fee you will get that due due amount okay that due amount you have to place here and send that whole report the old document report to the corresponding school email id okay so where is the school email id this is a school email ID. okay corresponding to that school email id that is a due amount like that okay. that word file you have to set do you all understand hello do you all understand what you have to do 
So what you are saying, the usable exception handling, uh, Archana? Usable, okay, that is a late, okay, fast. Usability and exception handling, understand. Okay. So you can do, right? This ex exercise, yeah. Uh, mails. It, it covers the, all the uh, email automation, word automation, Excel automation, RE framework, queues, everything it will cover. Okay. Data table, everything it will cover. So I will, yeah, that means uh, almost our course is uh, completed. 